Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you how to rake a Lego car in Blender. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Lego car rake from the video's description. That will give you a blend file to download, just download that. You can either work directly from that blend file or append it to another scene if you want to do something else with it. So in this case we're going to act like we're appending it to a different scene. We have our default blend file right here. I've just gone and deleted the objects. Make sure you've saved it somewhere. And come here to File. Come here to File. Append. Find where you downloaded that rig. It'll be called Car Rig Template. Double click on it. Go to Collection. Car Rig Template. Now what you see here is two things. You want this is what you want. Everything else can go. Delete that. And it'll be all good. So this is the car rig. And then we're going to actually need the car that we're rigging. So go up to File. Import whatever model you want to rig. Anything that has four wheels basically should be good. And we'll let that import here for a second. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's facing the wrong direction. It needs to be pointing in the direction of this arrow, which is very important, as you'll see why by the end of this tutorial. Select everything here, select objects, RZ, negative 90 in this case, rotate it the right way. You're actually going to want to keep everything selected, Shift S, cursor to selected, click on the rig, Shift S again, selection the cursor. Now you just want to try to align the rigs at the bottom level is directly in line with the wheels of the car and then try to space it so that the car is roughly in the middle of the entire rig here big square at the bottom, rectangle, potato potato and now that you've done that you're almost there so let's hide the rig for a second now we're going to need to go around and move each individual wheel to its own collection so first find this wheel, click on all the parts of the wheel, there might be several, G to make sure you got them all, and then just give them some kind of naming scheme so you know what wheel it is. Let's call this one back wheel, back wheel, left. Got that one done, then just go through and do the same for all the other wheels. Alrighty, now that you've done that, it's going to want to go find this collections right here and hide them all and what should be left in this collection is the rest of the car body. I'm just going to rename this to car body just for ease of knowing what's going on. Car body. And again if anything that is not part of the car body is in this collection you want to go ahead and get rid of that because that could cause some problems. So let's unhide the rig here. Then what we need to do now is line up all the wheel bones with the actual wheels. So let's unhide those quickly. And how you do that is find the outermost wheel, the actual wheel part, this big tire here. Shift S, cursor to selected. Click on this, click tab. Make sure this bone is selected. Shift S, selection the cursor. If you go back into object mode, we see that it's now properly aligned. And what we can also do this time, if you go back into object mode, make sure this wheel is selected. Select the wheel. Shift click, control tab. Control P, parent to bone. Make sure we've got the right wheel selected. Shift S, click on the rig, tab. You want to click on both of these bones in this case. Shift S, selection the cursor, and you'll be good to go. Now let's go back into object mode. Select this part of the wheel. Click on this bone. Control tab, control P, parent to bone. Don't parent anything to this bone, ignore it for now. We'll do the same thing for this wheel, and it'll be the same process for the rest of them, so we'll just skip ahead. Alright, now that we've done that, if you click on this bone, and go into pose mode, click on the master bone here, it should, all the wheels should roll properly. Oh, looks like you got an extra piece there. So if that happens, if you have an extra piece that shouldn't have been parented, all you have to do is click into object mode, find that piece, it's probably easier to just do this. Yeah, it's part of the collection looks like not that piece this piece just move it into the car body collection here just for the sake of naming and then click on that piece click on car body bone control p parent which is what we'll be doing to the rest of the car body right now select the entire car body click on this bone 
parent to this big green bone here. And once it loads from it, it should be done. So now what we should see happen is the entire car rig will move correctly. There we go. Perfect. So now that your car is fully rigged, I'll quickly go over the features of the rig to let you know how you should start animating this. So first thing you're going to want to do is hide all of these little bones here in pose mode as they don't actually serve any point with animation, they're solely for rigging purposes. So with that you're left with four main bones. First off the master bone which you've seen, it's the main bone you use to move the car. Now unfortunately the direction does matter as it'll only go in this XY direction which is really unfortunate but it's just how the rig works and I can't find a good way to work around it. So if for example we move this like this then try to move it along so you can see the wheels do not function properly. You can change this by modifying the drivers of the bones but it will only work in that direction you can't have it work either way unfortunately which is too bad but yeah it would go forward past the, the center of the world and backwards the other way so might have to get a little tricky with how you arrange your scene but it's doable. This bone up here is just a body rock bone front backward and side to side. You got some nice fake weight distribution animations from there. It's based off of this bone. So in this case, the alignment happened to be pretty much perfect, but if not, you just want to go into edit mode before parenting everything to the car and just move this wherever is roughly close to the center mass. It doesn't have to be exact, but it will make it a little easier as you want this movement to look natural. This bone here lets you control the wheel pivot like so, and then this bone is just another central pivot bone to make animation easier for drifting and sliding. And with that, that is basically the entirety of the car rig. As you can see, it's adaptable to fit pretty much any four-wheel car that you want to rig. A little bit of tweaking. And that's all I have for you for today. Thank you for watching the tutorial, and I hope it's been helpful. Penguin out!